Hey man, if you're in the mortgage space, things aren't going so well where you're at, you're thinking I'm making a move, we can help. It's that simple. Just click the banner you see on your screen right here, right down below the video. The same banner is over on your right. Click it, fill out the form, we'll give you a call, we'll help you out. I mean, not all companies are created equally. You wanna to talk to somebody who spoke with a lot of companies. We've got that. Okay, so we've got some more COVID love. It seems to be all the craze these days. So Bank of America, they did something right. Now, they're in the middle of it, but they made the right decision. You know, kind of like those LDS commercials from the 1980s. I told the That's right, Bank of America told the truth. And in the process of doing so, they uncovered the largest case of fraud in the history of the state of California. So what happened? Bank of America, which is contracted with the state of California Employment Development Department to issue debit cards containing unemployment benefits, issued the warning in a letter to state legislators. And the warning was about fraud. So what happened? Bank of America estimated Monday that fraud in California's unemployment benefits system could total $2 billion from the COVID-19 relief fund and said it has identified 640,000 accounts with suspicious activity that should be investigated to determine whether they are bogus and should be shut down. This is pretty good stuff, isn't it? So who got the $2 billion in fraud that the state of California approved and totally missed. This is COVID relief funds, guys. Who got it? Infants, <laughs> children, and centarians. Do you know what that is? That's people over 100 years old. And of course, people in prison. Don't want to leave them out. Not to split hairs, but it primarily went to people in prison. <laughs> So what happened is, when the state got their piece of the $3 trillion in bailout money, folks signed up their kids, their infants, and their dead parents and relatives to receive the $1,200 handout. But the vast majority, as I said, of the misallocated money went to folks that are part of the state prison system. Not the guards, mind you. No, the inmates. And the funny part is, in a not so funny way, California's Employment Development Department agency, who is in charge of ensuring the money goes to those who need it and deserve it, accidentally sent this money to prisoners, kids, and dead people. Now, I wonder, who is the agency that's going to hold these guys accountable? Not the CFPB. Why did it have to fall on a private company, Bank of America, to discover this? But the biggest question is, do you think the state's attorney general will find fault with Bank of America and they'll be the ones who ultimately pay the price even though they were the ones who told the truth? More COVID news. Did you know, according According to Realtor Magazine, one in three American adults has transitioned to partial or full remote working during the COVID-19 pandemic. So what does this mean? People are getting used to working remotely. I'll tell you this right now. In real estate, it means 2021 could be a real hard time for high cost areas. In fact, 8.9 million folks have relocated since the pandemic. Now, we should call this, don't you think, the 2020 COVID migration. That sounds good. Not since the Jodes left Oklahoma during the Great Depression have we seen such a migration. You can see from this graph that the big winner of this migration is Texas. Odd property taxes, but otherwise a business friendly state. So what does this tell us? <laughs> Break out your big hat and your spurs. Listen, this is already happening in the high taxed areas on the coast. We talked about this a couple of days ago. And this, my friends, is just the beginning of the migration. Okay, so realtors, you have to have your reload infrastructure in place. Don't wait for your broker to let you into their reload department. Search out your own relationships in other cities where people are moving to, like Texas. Lenders, you should get licensed in these destination states. Where are they? Well, not California or New York. You might want to think about Texas. So, you know, it's also worth pointing out that you know, we've got a list of basically every loan officer company and their production on every state, county, parish, and city in the country. It's pretty cool if you think about it. And no, we're not giving it to you, but here's the point. We looked up the production in our little town of Vacaville, and it surprised us to learn that probably 70% of the mortgage production that was done here in Vacaville was done by lenders that don't live in Vacaville. <laughs> Understand, working remotely as a loan officer works and it works well. So again, if you're thinking on making a move, man, if you really think it's the right time to go, you know, January's coming up, you wanna start feeling some things out, let us know. Again, the banner's down below. Do us a favor, leave us your comments, forward share, subscribe, and you can always get our mobile app by doing this. Download the National Real Estate Post mobile app today. Available on Apple Store and Google Play. Just search National Real Estate Post.